anaphylaxis allergy alerts, beginning the search part AI. There are many ways to start a dog on learning how to find a scent. Here is the first of three. Training all three sequentially teaches the dog to search and allows you to control the different criteria of the search. A. Using a scent container. Egg cartons work great as they are stackable, portable, cheap, easy to replace, and quick to set up. Tips for using containers. Make sure to mark and use the same container for the alert scent. Use the same pen to mark all containers so they all have the same scent. Store the one with the scent away from the rest of the containers to prevent contamination. And false indications. Dogs quickly learn to alert to the residue and we don't want to discourage them by not rewarding it. Place the scent vial in a container and let the dog sniff. Lower the container to the floor in stages. At first, mark and reward even if she doesn't sniff. Change your position. Add a second container. Let the dog sniff the empty one, then click and reward sniffing and alerting the second. Mix them up. Stages, you may need to prompt the dog to sniff, not guess. she got three out of seven incorrect. She needs more practice before we move on. In this later training session, she is consistently sniffing and gets eight in a row correct the first try, so is ready to move on to the next step. Add a third container, mix them up, and click and reward the correct alert. Start with a quick review of two before adding the third. I use a verbal marker to start as both my hands are busy. Yes. Then switch back to the clicker. Present three cartons. Ignore incorrect responses at this point. She is still learning there is a choice. In this case, I reset the trial. Sniff. Some dogs take a while to realize they must sniff all three to make their choice. She's a bit mouthy with the cartons as she may not understand yet what is wanted. If she gets less than 50% correct, go back and practice with two and reintroduce the third. Train until the dog gets either 8 in a row or 8 out of 10 correct, or better. Once you get to 4 cartons, you can start laying them out in various patterns on the floor. 
side by side. Check your out. In a line. A star. A box. At this point, it is handy to have the dog start on a mat to allow you time to move the scent containers around. Okay. A more portable mat, such as a towel, is ideal for away from home. Good girl. Okay, I use a dog bed in the house. Yes. Awesome. More pattern ideas. Okay, a serpentine. Good girl. A C shape. Room perimeter. Adding simple obstacles. She checks it out on the way by. This is actually a good thing. Good girl. Several obstacles. Good girl. Jumbles can be fun for the dog as it allows them to choose the search pattern. This builds independence and self-confidence. Here's an undirected search. Yes! Use the mode approach to increase the number of containers. Start with the dog out of sight when you place the set container. Once you get to this point, it's a good idea to periodically have a helper place the container and you go in blind. This helps prevent handler dependence early on. Train up to at least 25 containers and take it to new rooms and outdoors and retrain from the start each time. Living room. Here's a line that extends Search. between rooms. You can see she gets a bit lost at the junction of rooms and needs some direction. This can be an indication of too much too soon. Yes. Search. Ideally, train the junction zone separately before adding it to the challenge. Yes. In the garage. several new locations, the dog will progress more rapidly in each new location. Yes! Yes! If she can get four in a row correct, she is ready to move on to the next step. At this point, I should have used the mat to keep her out of the way. Yes! In this trial, her interest in checking individual cartons was waning as she had already done this line of cartons several times. Yes! So I changed the pattern to keep her interest. Starting her out of sight or taking a break would have been other options. Yes! Front yard.
backyard along the edge of the deck to start. Nice. Then out into the middle of the yard. Start from each end. This allows you to use the same line of cartons twice before having to reconfigure it. Add obstacles as before. She skips a few cartons in the corner the first time, but comes back to sniff them. She is likely using my body position as a clue that the scent is there. This is an example of handler dependence. Add distance incrementally between the containers to add duration to the search. Anytime you change a criteria, start in a familiar place before going to less familiar places. Yes! Search! Train a second room with different obstacles. She learns to sniff different objects while searching. Time she shows persistence despite not finding the scent right away. She may be smelling residue from the first trial. It's a good idea to remove absorbent objects like the suitcase for the following trials. This helps prevent her from alerting to the lesser concentration and not getting rewarded. Her sniffing the couch may be a clue she is ready to scent without egg cartons in this environment. Yes! Search. Start search in one room and finishes in another. Yes! As the training locations get more challenging with more distractions, you'll find that when you go back to train in quieter environments, the dog is more successful and enthusiastic. Always train beyond your needed criteria for this reason. Pre-mac between scent finds. This will help to build more interest in finding the scent. A pre-mac activity is anything that the dog enjoys doing more than the current activity. Add a leash. Since service dogs need to be leashed in public, the dog needs to learn to search while attached to you. Leash handling is a skill for the human as well. Key points are to keep the leash loose and let the dog lead. Avoid guiding the dog unless absolutely necessary. The dog's nose will find the scent. Once you are training longer rows of cartons, you can add the leash. Start by dragging the leash. Then hold it. How much slack you give the dog may depend on the environment you are searching and your speed as a team. Keep the leash loose so the dog can stop and indicate without making the leash tight. I dropped the excess leash when she stopped to indicate. A six or seven foot leash is recommended. 